How's it going guys? Mike Moo here. Today we're going to check out a new battery charger that XTAR just sent out to me. This is the XTAR L4 Pro. This charges lithium ion batteries of up to 1.5 volts and also AA nickel metal hydride batteries up to 1.2 1 1 volts, which is pretty, you know, pretty standard, pretty nominal. And I'm going to go ahead and test this out and see if this actually works out better for me than the ones that come with the kits. And another note is that how many of you guys have old batteries? Do you guys remember these old Eneloops? These used to be the bomb. It turns out that they don't last quite as much as I always hoped that they would last. I've been using them for pretty much a good decade now, and I was honestly expecting to get a little bit more life out of them. But what happened is that the main battery charger that I use is a massive charger. It's an Ansman 16. And when these go in there, all it does is it flashes red to let me know, hey, maybe it's time to let it go. So what's interesting about the L4 Pro is that they claim that they can help to fix certain battery packs, all right? So there's a three-stage charger in here. It's all smart and everything in terms of figuring out the voltage, how much it'll accept, and also to reduce the amount of heat that gets produced when it's charging. So it's supposed to give it a fuller charge. So I'm definitely gonna test this out and find out. Also in the test is I have these X-Tars that they also sent me out, sent out to me. These are 2,600 milliamp hours. These are not ones that I can easily find. So if I do, if I am able to find this online, I'll have a link down below for these. But I tend to believe that if X-Tar is willing to put their own name on it and send them out for me to test that they can't be that bad at all. So. Pretty straightforward. You can see there's a big hole interface over here. I don't know why more charging battery charging companies don't do this more. And by that, I mean, why not have a simple solution that allows air ventilation to go through? A lot of them are closed up. I guess maybe it just takes a little bit more work. I'm not sure. So there's an LCD display. I'm removing this protective cover on here. And the batteries, you just simply slide them on like so. So it handles double A batteries as well as triple A batteries. There's two different slots available on here. And I think that if you are using the basic ones that come with the kits with other, with other battery charging kits, like when you get them from, well, at least I get a lot of these from Costco, uh, this could be an upgrade for you. One thing that is not as good of an upgrade about this is that one, you're gonna have to provide your own USB source USB power source. And also number two is that the ones that were sold over at other places under various different brands, they plug directly into the wall, right? This you'll need your own AC, DC to USB-C output. And also it will not charge an extra device coming out of it. And that's just what you get when something that is a little bit more, little bit more advanced, but not as bulky and it doesn't need to handle like its own built-in AC to DC converter when you do it this way. And plus everybody has USB-C available anyway. So there are some pros and cons to that. As you can see, I stuck in four of the batteries that were being charged and getting an error message. You can see from the graph, you can already see that this one right here is a little bit low, whereas these look like they're, you know, they're, they're getting right up there. One thing that I can see that this will not notify you about is how much capacity is really left in these. And that's something that you're only gonna get with a really high-end charger that, that does the full-on testing and cycling and all that stuff. But sometimes when you're traveling, you don't want all that. And those devices tend to be pretty big, a little bit more bulky, whereas this one is pretty straightforward, fairly small, not the most compact, but having the capability of charging both the nickel metal hydride batteries and lithium ion batteries is something that can't be can't be overstated and as you can see you got a little chart you can see at a glance and there is really no other function on here other than a refresh function which you just press the button where it has a discharge okay so so this charging pack, as you can see, I put the batteries in here, has three different functions. There's a refresh option, which is what I'm using right now. I'm trying to refresh these batteries. There is a charge function, so that's your standard charge. And then there's a discharge function, so you can manually discharge the batteries all completely. And you wanna do that because uh, if you want to reach 
full maximum capacity, you got to discharge the battery pack, uh, the batteries all the way down and then give it a full charge. Refresh is a function that does it both already. So it first does a deach does first a discharge and then a recharge and puts it all in one cycle. And now this charger isn't all about maximum speed, right? This is more about providing a providing a fuller charge at lower heat. We'll see if that's completely true or not. And that just means that, well, a couple of things is it's not going to charge super fast. And let me tell you, the inside of the packaging also comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable. Almost forgot to mention that. And there's also a uh, user guide here. So it's not going to charge super fast. It's going to take a little while, but it will give you a fuller charge. And that's kind of what I want it to do. I want it to try to refresh the batteries and hopefully successfully charge it to fuller capacity than I was able to do it with my automatic charger, my automatic 16 bay charger. So we'll, we'll see if that's true. I'm going to let this run for a little while. A little bit more about the modes going on here. In the user guide, it tells you that it has a regular charging function and it has a discharge function. That's a quick refresh option. And then it has the slower charging mode, which is the refresh. So it's a smart, deep refresh function where it, doesn't maximize or doesn't minimize the charging speed, meaning it doesn't super fast charge. The whole goal of the refresh is so that you get the most capacity out of your battery cells and providing the lowest temperature available while basically just equaling it out so that you don't damage your batteries in the process. And that, that's what it's about. It's about getting more charge out of your batteries, more use out of your batteries between charges. So I'm doing the test right now and I put you in the really old cells. I have it in a refresh function and it's, it looks like it's cycling between two watts use of power and five watts to, or four to five watts. So it's kind of pulse charging the batteries. And that's one way that you can repair or shall we say refresh uh, batteries from nickel metal hydride cells. And I haven't refreshed these in a while. All right, this is three days later. I have been running a couple of sets of batteries through here, depending on whenever they finished. And I really kind of surprised first how long and how bad the conditions were of these batteries. But it makes sense. These are the original Eneloops that were sold in Costco. I don't know if you remember them way back in the early 2000s. And so that makes these over 20 some years old. I've definitely cycled through these. I have to say easily hundreds of times. Okay, so they are not really at highest capacity. I remember I did some tests on these and I put these down on some of these. I even wrote down how much the tested capacity was at the time. So I've just been using the refresh function on these and it's very simple to get access to it just by pressing. There's one single button on here. I press it down until it gets to refresh. And what that'll do is it'll go through and discharge, recharge, discharge, recharge until it reaches a certain nominal amount of voltage. And that's kind of what you need to do with really old batteries to get them back up to a higher level capacity. Eventually, you will have to throw these away because the capacity would be so little that it's not even worthwhile doing anymore. But it really impressed me that this was able to run through the cycles. It did take two to three days, okay? Two to three days to get through some of these batteries. And before what would happen is that on my smart chargers, the Ansman 16, what would happen is, you know, the battery is pretty, pretty dead and it tries to charge it up. It, it does some testing and then it figures out, look, this is never going to get to the voltage where it's relatively usable for you. It'll blink red. So just blink red like there's an error, like it's just not going to happen, right? Normally what it'll do is it'll do a refresh cycle. This one doesn't do that automatically in the sense that, that it automatically reje rejects the batteries. This will just go through and run a refresh cycle and, and it, you know, it, it lasts a while. So this is not a fast charger if you're doing a refresh cycle because it, it monitors everything and tries to keep it cool. And it does so in a soft, gentle manner, which is why it takes so long to run through a cycle with the old batteries. So you can use this in a couple of different ways. Um, rather than just charge your batteries, you can choose to refresh it. If you, if you just choose to charge, you can just choose the charge function. 
But what I'm going to be using is obviously I'm going to be refreshing it and also using it for older batteries so that I still get use out of these 20 some year old batteries. Okay, it might not be the full capacity. I think these started out at what 1900 milliamp hours. I highly doubt that at the time that I'm putting these things in here for refresh that they're any more than a thousand milliamp hours in terms of the capacity or available capacity on here. So I I think that this would this is great for that purpose because it is super portable, runs off USB-C, has a useful soft refresh function that doesn't damage your batteries in a process. And yeah, I think it's relatively affordable. I can't imagine this costing that much. I'll get the details about the pricing and I'll link it down below because I think it, it's pretty much relatively no frills. The everything is built sufficiently enough to do the job, but not excessively so. Like there's no active fan going on in here. I see a heat sink in the back here and this is where some of the ventilation is. And then you got these holes over here for ventilation. Again, I don't know why other chargers don't bother doing this. Not only for ventilation, in case you have trouble getting the batteries out, you could just stick your finger back here and pop them out. So overall, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that I have found another battery charger that is good to travel with and can be used for older batteries, to bring back older batteries. All right, so that's it for my first look at this. I do have other battery analyzers. Unfortunately, I kept them back in LA and I will eventually go there and get them, bring them back up here. So I will analyze just how well this has performed. But what I can tell you is that it brings the batteries back, the really, really old batteries back to at least a usable format. If not much in capacity, at least for lower drain stuff. So I'm I've just been using these for battery powered candles, for instance. And it, it serves this function. It stays, my candles stay lit for a week or so. It, it does a decent job with that. All right, if you're interested in this, I will have a link down below. Uh, at this point, these are non-affiliated links. This is not a sponsored paid review. However, again, they did send this out to me for me to test. And I said yes, because I could always use more battery chargers. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Give this a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.